table is spread. The feast of the Lord is going on. Come and dine. Come and dine. Immediacy. Everyone that asketh receiveth. 11.10. He that seeketh findeth. Him that knocketh. It shall be opened. It shall be open. It shall be open. You need patience. If you've gone so far, it shall be open. Now you need to understand that angels don't immediately open up the dimension into God. Because the opening up the dimension into God's kingdom also means opening up into the dimensions onto themselves. And they have to make sure that there is a proper instruction. We have said already, uh, uh, that the Son in Luke 4, 43, the Son is sent. In John 1 and 6, John is sent. In Luke 1, 26, the angel Gabriel is sent. In Isaiah chapter 6, verse 8, let me just go there briefly because you need to understand why Isaiah was killed. Let me show you the statement in Isaiah chapter 6, that caused Isaiah to be killed. We need to know that uh, in Isaiah chapter 6. Uh, now, the statement that caused Isaiah to be sawed asunder, according to the Apostle Paul in chapter 12 of uh, Hebrews, the statement that caused the uh, prophet Isaiah to be sawed asunder is found in verse 5, chapter 6, verse 5. I'll read it for you. Then said I, Woe is me, for I am undone, because I am a man of unclean lips, and I dwell in the midst of a people of unclean lips. That was not the statement that caused Isaiah to be sawed asunder. He is the one that caused Isaiah to be sawed asunder. He said, For mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. That is the statement that caused Isaiah to be sawed asunder. They told Isaiah, you have to retract that statement. For well, you said, mine eyes have seen the king, the Lord of hosts. And no man have seen God. And you know the story from that point on. But anyhow, that was a statement that caused uh, Isaiah to be sawed asunder. But from this point also, we understand uh, there is a more sanctified uh, than the hands of the cherubims. Keep that in mind. There's a state more sanctified uh, 
than the hands of the cherubims. Keep that in mind as well, too, because we told you out there that God sends forth great knowledge and God sends forth great wisdom by those out there who are seeking knowledge and who are seeking godly wisdom. We have said before, we've said many times, where the enemy don't want to go, that's where we are. That's where we went. Now, mind you, he do want to go into the belly of swines, but he don't want to go out into the deep. They told him, don't send us, talking to Jesus, out into the deep. Let us go into the swines. So that's where they want to go. They want to go into the swine, to the bellies of the swine, but they don't want to go out into the deep. We launched out. That's where we are. That's where we are staying. We're at home. We're free. We don't have to worry about nobody talking about nobody is perfect out here. You didn't get him unless you were perfect, period. All right? God do not invite you into the deep if you don't want to go. All right? You must have your mind fashioned. You must have on royal garments to go out into the deep. Why? Because you ought to be known out in the deeps. And we've said out here that uh, there is a sanctification more sanctified than the hands of the cherubims. Now, you're not going to understand that by staying over yonder on the shoreline. All right? Cannot be understood. You understand now the statement that got the uh, that got Isaiah uh, uh, killed. You know where it's found. Uh, uh, mine eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. You've seen that. We have to just put that out there for you to understand that particular point of view. Now, God show you things when you show Him that you are able to understand the things that He want to show you. All right? The deep thing belongs to God. We're not out here because we just want to be out here. We're out here because we were sent out here. We launched out here because we want to get away from the adversary. You know, and uh, that was the way to do it. An open door, we took it. Knock and it shall be open, we took that uh, uh, point of view. Now, uh, we see here that uh, verse 11, 11, 11. If a son shall lack bread of any of you that is a father, will he give him a stone? No. But if he acts a fish, will he uh, fall a fish, give him a serpent? No. Or if he shall act an egg, will he offer him a scorpion? No, he won't do that. If ye then, being evil, know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more shall your heavenly Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask him. Now, let's not forget that it is your father's good pleasure to give unto you the kingdom. All right? The father will give the Holy Spirit unto any of them that ask him. But instead of you asking for the Holy Spirit, you're asking for a limousine. You're asking for a car. You're asking for a husband. You're asking for a wife. You're asking for a red dress. God bless you out there across the globe, uh, global Christian friends. Until next time, God bless you, American government.